Hey everyone, I was tagged a long time ago, back in December, um, by Mrs. Blessed 101, I think it is. I'll put her channel name underneath here. Um, so anyway, she tagged me back in December, and I do try to do, whenever I get tagged, I will more than likely do the tag. Um, it just might not be, you know, for eight months, but I will do them, because I love doing tags. I just don't want to do tag after tag after tag. So I try to space them out a little bit. But this is one I've wanted to do for a while, and I thought now was a good time to do it. So um, this one is, as the, you'll see by the title, it's the my 10 favorite things under $10. Except that I cheated and I went with 11 Actually, maybe more than that. But let's just play along and pretend like I follow the rules. So Rookie's head is down there. You can see him. The other dogs are in the backyard. They may make an appearance at some point. I left the door propped up if they feel like coming back in the house. So let's get started. None of these will come as a great surprise to any of you, but these are also just my 10 most favorite things that I use all the time. Here we go. Number one, I've said it before and I've said it again, Cody Airspun Loose Powder. Get on this bandwagon. It's awesome, awesome, awesome. In fact, I'm gonna send some to a couple people that I think need to try this and realize the awesomeness that it is. This is the new container, it's all hard plastic. They kept the original design from 1935 and um, they're little powder puffs, like fancy ones. And uh, it has that, um, you know, the holes. Anyway, what I normally do is shake it up and then it's ugh, everywhere, see? And there it is. And I just take what's in the lid and um, it's just, it disappears into your skin. It's awesome. When I set my makeup with this, I put on my foundation, my concealer, all my creamy products, and then I set it with this, and I never powder the rest of the day. The rest, unless it's like, unless I've been outside and it's just horribly hot, I, and even then, I almost never have to touch up once I use this. I'm not kidding. It's amazing. Now, I do have very dry skin, so that is helpful as well. So, Okay, enough about that. Next, <clears throat> of course, and now it's everywhere and I'm inhaling it. Um, Real Techniques, stip oh, and I forgot to say this, you can get for sure at Walmart, Walgreens, CVS. I'm sure you can find it online, like drugstore online or something like that. Just Google um, the descriptions below. And it retails for around $6.99. Samantha Chapman, Real Technique Stippling Brush. I love it. Use it to put on my foundation. I dot it on my face and then I just... I've also, um, as a side note, begun also using her buffing brush, which I don't know if you can buy separately. So that's why I didn't include it. It came in a set. But this little baby is $9.99 at Ulta online and I don't know about internationally yet. Sorry. But um, plus, what's awesome about this, not only is it already under $10, but because it's on the drugstore side of the house at Ulta, all those coupons that are, you know, 20% off or $3.50 off of 10 so you can really go crazy with that. Next, I consider this <clears throat> one product because it's the same company, same packaging. I don't know. I'm really fudging with the 10 things. But they are, first of all, the e.l.f. Contouring Blush and Bronzing Powder which is this little thing here. And um, some say it's the dupe for Nars Laguna and Orgasm. Um, I don't know about Laguna, this is more like Deep Throat, but regardless of what it could be a dupe for, they're just great colors on their own. Love them. And this is, um, I believe $3, Elf Online, Target, you can get this a lot of places. And I think this goes hand in hand, because I do use it still a lot, is the Golden Bronzer, which I've hit I mean, obviously, before I discovered other highlight shades, I was using this as a highlight. Just roll your brush and kind of put it all over your face to warm you up. This is especially great, in, I think, for me in the winter because it's a very pale golden bronzer. And so it doesn't make you look so much tan. It's just warmed up and not corpse-like. And that's $5, I believe. Okay, next on my list, I'm just consulting my notes. See? Uh, NYX blushes. Not a big surprise either. I just picked a couple faves. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, a great summer blush that I've been using all summer is the Terracotta, which is 
hard to, it's kind of a coppery, orangey, bronzy. There you go. And then um, this one is Angel. It's a lot creamier than Terracotta. Looks like that. I don't know how the color is going, but it's a little chalkier, maybe, but it blends really nicely. I mean, when you swatch with your finger, I don't think that's a very accurate display of the color. And then I've been using this to contour every day, and I love it, love it, love it, is the taupe blush, which is very creamy and very soft and a cool tone brown taupe, actually, I would call that. You can't really see it when I do it like this, but there it is on my finger. You could also use this as an eyeshadow. It's a very versatile color. And then, I'm not going to open this one because it's still sealed. I just picked it up. The uh, Walmart in Lawrence, Kansas it was very well stocked when I was there this weekend with the hard candy products. So, because mine is always sold out, I grabbed a few things that I can never seem to pick up. And one of them was the hard candy Tiki Bronzer that I use as a highlight almost every single day. It is a beautiful golden natural. It is quite shimmery, so if you're not a big fan of highlighters, maybe save this for the evening. Try not to blind you, but I love it. I like all things that sparkle, so that works for me. Um, oh, I forgot to mention the NYX blushes were $5.99. Yeah, but again, Ulta, they're on the drugstore side of the house, so you can always use your coupon on them. Um, you can get them NYX online. I can get them at my grocery store. Yay, H-E-B. So, NYX products are easy to find. And the hard candy bronzer, I think is nine bucks, which is kind of expensive for a hard candy um, product, but well worth it. It lasts forever. Okay, eyeshadows. I tried to hit as many categories as I could as well. So for eyeshadows, for me, there's only one. In fact, as of late, it's the only brand I've been wearing. Um, and that would be, drum roll, brrr, Wet n Wild. Now, don't start typing on your keyboards that you hate it, it sucks, the fallout, blah, blah, blah. These are my top 10, and I love them. I have no problem with fallout. They last all day for me. I love the creamy consistency. I love them. So if you hate them, I'm sorry, but I love them. Um, and the one that I've been wearing lately a lot, in fact, every single day since I bought it, was, uh, I should have just listened to you guys when you t suggested this to me months ago, it was the Walking on Eggshells trio. I just, I can't get enough, especially of these two shades. This is very, very shimmery, so I use this as a inner corner. Look at that. But I don't have to scrub to get the color payoff. I love these. Isn't that pretty? That's what I have on right now. Um... So I love the trios if you like darker colors. I mean, these are tremendously cool. You've seen those before. This is the, in, I'm getting sunburned. Um, my favorite six palette, which I hear they're discontinuing, so I'm gonna grab a few more, uh, is the Vanity palette, which has great matte colors and great shimmery colors. Uh, I'm not gonna swatch them all. I've done tons of videos with these. And as much as I've used these, I'm still, I haven't even made a dent. And then um, my favorite 8 palette would be the Comfort Zone one. Love it. I haven't really used the greens as much, but um, I've used those two and then everything on this side. And then my hands down absolute favorite Wet n Wild color of all time that I use every day, no matter what I have on my face, is the Brulee, the single in Brulee, which is dead on, I believe, from also Max Brulee, but it is a wonderful highlight color. It's a... Oh, I hear Bosley. It's just, it's perfect for if you've gone a little too far out on the corners to, to make it go away, um, to blend your stuff together. It just, you only buy one Wet n Wild shade by Brulee. This is turning into a review and not a tag, um, but okay. And let's see, and those are all somewhere between $1.99, $4.99, $5.99, very cheap. Um, other than Walgreens and some Walmarts, but not my Walmart, some grocery stores, it's kind of, I know there's other places to get them. I think Rite Aid, I have heard, carries it. Some CVS's carry Wet n Wild, some don't. It's very annoying, but they're out there. Okay, nail polish. For me, my favorite under $10 nail polish, without a doubt, is, up to this point in my life, Revlon. The value for money is outstanding. I feel like I'm channeling Wayne Goss when I say that. He says that a lot. Um, 
I have been enjoying their top speed coats <clears throat> nail polishes since they came out a gajillion years ago the newest one I just picked up is the top speed in um, black steel which I have on right now it's very it's it's black I mean it's it's a little much maybe for summer but I like it what I really love about Revlon hey memes. what I really really love is that they always dupe the Chanel colors and the first time I became aware of this was back in the day when um, Oh my gosh, when Uma Thurman wore the Chanel nail polish in Pulp Fiction, I think it was called Vamp. And then Revlon came out with Vixen or vice versa. But um, that was the first Chanel dupe that I bought. Um, I think it was in high school. It was a long time ago. And ever since then, they just, I think almost every season, they come out with limited edition versions of the Chanel nail polishes. So um, most recently, or most famously, they came out with the um, Paradoxal dupe Revlon's Perplex and um, I did a whole review on that I love 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 it and then this spring they came out with Black with Envy which is a dupe for Chanel's Black Pearl and I know they did a dupe for the Chanel Yellow and I'm hoping that they dupe some of the new uh, some of the other shades that are coming out for fall so just fingers crossed and those range um, I don't remember, like $4.99, something like that. And then there's always coupons, buy one, get one free, dark fabulous. Uh, next are lip glosses. And I think I would say my favorite, it's hard, so I'm just going to show you the three brands I love. Essence, especially their nudes line. Uh, NYX. My, um, I use them so much that the label gets worn off, but this is NYX. Uh, Revlon. Peach Petal, this this little one. I don't like so much their other glosses, but I really like these are their um, just as a lip gloss. The little the little more rectangular, short, stubby bottles, and um, my all time favorite. I think it's an oldie but a goodie for me. As you can see, I've really this one's ready to go. Is the Jordana line that you get at Walgreens? This one's in Divine, and it is. Um, and these are like two ninety nine. I mean, crazy cheap. And what's left? Okay, hand cream. This is kind of pricey for hand cream, but it's under the $10 line. This is the travel size um, True Blue Spa Shea Cashmere Hand Cream from Bath & Body Works. And I think this is $6 for this little bitty almost empty. Yes, $6. The tag is still on it. But I haven't found a better hand cream. I mean, this stuff is amazing. Amazing! And it smells really good. In fact, I think they even came out with um, a fragrance version of this. So, lipsticks. Uh, my all time favorite. And yeah, $6.99 is the L'Oreal Color Riche line. Creamy, beautiful colors, always easy to find. All time favorite, of course, would be $800 in Ferris Nude. Oh my gosh, it's 12 o'clock. How many are left? Is anybody counting? Wow. Okay, I feel like they added a couple ding-dongs. That was really long. Okay, there it is. Ferris Nude. Best color ever. Ever. I need to get more. I mean, just can't beat this. You can wear it for any professional working environment. You can. It's the kind you slap on. Um, you don't need a mirror. It just, I think it flatters most light to medium skin tones. It's just a fabulous color. And then I've recently discovered the Revlon Color Burst line. Is that what this is called? I don't know. The, the Quilty? Maybe Color Burst is Maybelline. I don't know. Whatever this Revlon um, quilted thing. This one happens to be lilac. Um, again, they're very creamy. Great color payoff. Love those. And these are both, I think, uh, $6.99? I don't know. But definitely under $10. And then, okay, those are my 10 things. But I had to come up, I just, how could I stick to the rules? I couldn't. So um, my last thing is, not only is it the 11th product, sort of, but it's also over $10. It is the uh, Japanesque, what do I call this? Go Curl Pocket Curler. It comes in black or pink. Um, I've had this about a year. And, you know, you put it on and you push down the little lever. And this one's pretty dirty. It's about time for it to go. I've gone through the refill. Um, 
and the reason I'm including this is even though it's $11, again, you can get it at Ulta, and because they always have those coupons for $3.50 off a $10 or more purchase, there you go, now it's under 11 under 10 whatever. Um, so, I love this thing, I use it every day. I have yet to find one that works better for me. Again, my video works great for me. So, um, that is it. Those are my top 10, 11, under $10 or 11. And so maybe it's my top 11 under 11. Um, I hope that some of these products appeal to you, that you can come go to your regular grocery store, drugstore, and pick up a few. Um, if you have your own recommendations that I haven't hit on that you think I need to know about, please comment below because I have... You guys are dangerous because I read every comment and I usually end up buying everything you suggest. You're always right. Um, and then the makeup addiction continues. So thank you for watching. And um, I just noticed Mimi was up there. Did anybody see Bosley come in? Hmm. Well, anyway, I'm going to run. I'm going to shut my door. The air conditioning is leaving. It's 100 degrees outside. I'm starting to feel sweaty. But note that I am not oily because I set my makeup with Cody Airspun Loose Powder. Alrighty then, I will see y'all in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.